because like it's so cool to the extent that I can't explain how cool it is. Now. Hey guys, today we are back with another Martian gear chair. Now, I've kind of fallen in love with Martian gear chairs. They are high quality and they just opened a showroom recently, I think just about one week ago at Suntech City. And this is at the North Wing. And when I visited the store, something caught my eye and it was this particular color here. So this is the astronaut chair and it is a gaming chair. I would say that it is similar to the supernova that I have reviewed recently, but it is not the same size. The curvature is slightly different. But first, let's talk about this particular color. I have not seen a gaming chair with this color. And this color is so classy. It's like jade green, like uh, sea green. It gives me it invokes a feeling of the sea. So I have to follow what my heart wants. And therefore, this chair. Now, let me talk a little bit about the astronaut. The astronaut is kind of like a, on the smaller side of the whole Martian gear series. They have the supernova, they have the interstellar, which are both bigger than this particular one. But, you know, um, the curvature actually works very well. The seat is very, very buckety. Now, I've, I've kind of lost a little bit of weight over the couple of months. If you have noticed, I am now standing at about 87 kilograms. Um, my height is 180. I actually thought that maybe this chair was a little bit too small for me, but well, it fits. And if you look at the seat, the side curvature is actually extremely uh, uh, buckety. It, it really hurts your torso quite a bit and as well as the seat pen, right? So the side comes out a little bit. So it's unlike the supernova where I was able to sit cross-legged on the chair, which I prefer. Regardless, when I sat on this chair, actually it fits me pretty well. My waist, if you have to know, is inches, so it fits me pretty well. Now the seat material is made from vegan leather, so it's not real leather, it's like a PU leather, it's just another way of calling it. Um, there's a three-year PU protection that's being offered by Martian Gear, so if it peels, they will come in and replace it. And overall, the chair feels very comfortable, there's no creaking sound. I told you guys about my Secret Labs Titan, which gave me a lot of creak in the built-in back rest, the lumbar support. This doesn't have a built-in lumbar support, so it comes with this particular pillow here, and there is a neck rest pillow as well. Now, one thing that you have to take note of, I found this extremely uh, smart and intelligent. I don't know whether it was by design or it was something that was meant to be this way, but there are two holes here, right? It, it looks like um, handles, but you don't hold the chair around. The chair is very heavy, over 20 kilograms, but as opposed to the other gaming chairs, including those from Secret Lab, where you sling this um, cushion over with the strap, this, you can actually put the strap through to the cubby holes here, right? Uh, I call them cubby holes, I don't know what you call them, and it will never come up. So there you go. So for those of you who need a backrest, you can put it right here. Okay, it holds there. It will, you know, kind of fall off because it's not magnetic or anything. But, you know, once you put it there, you rest it, you sit down, and it will help you feel more comfortable. Now, the material in this pillow is slightly different from um, that of the Secret Lamp. Um, the Secret Lamp one is more of a memory foam. Um, and the memory foam kind of conforms to it. It doesn't offer the pushback. This is not memory foam. So there is a continuous pressure that is pushing against your back, right? When you're resting on it. So kind of like extended support over a longer period of time. Now, Martian Gear has a wireless massaging uh, backrest, which um, if you're interested, please just go to the Martian Gear website, take a look at it. I think it's interesting. It's rechargeable. It gives you a massage for one hour. If you need anything more than that, you have a problem and you won't get the cable running around. So this is the whole astronaut. Now, I'll talk about the features a little bit. It has reclining and it has a lever to the side, uh, same as the interstellar, same as the supernova, where the lever is actually very well made and shaped like that of in a car. So Martian Gear has uh, automotive uh, engineering experience. So this looks really like the uh, cars of the old where there's a manual lever by the side. It's not just one metallic lever, it is actually nicely shaped. So you can lock it in 
and it has reclining function, it has a rocking function, which you can lock, you can also adjust the tension of the reclining if you want it to offer more resistance. Otherwise, you can lock it into place and it doesn't move anymore. I don't like to recline so much, so I tend to want to push it forward a little bit before I lock it. So if you don't want to lock it, you could just put it there, uh, ease off the tension a little bit, increase the tension a little bit, highly customizable. Now, of course, the backrest, the headrest, doesn't really move that much. Um, now, let's talk about the armrest. Now, the armrest, very similar to any 4D armrest that you might be familiar with now. It goes up, down, and it goes uh, upwards and inwards. It also slides this way in parallel. And more importantly, it also goes front and back. So depending on how near you want to be at the table, the height of your table, you want to slide under the table, it is also possible. So limitless adjustability. But the thing I cannot get away with is how beautiful this color is. I just find, this is my office actually. So as you can see, I don't have a lot of space here. So I'm just wondering, uh, do I need two chairs? Oh, yes, you notice there is another chair at the back of this. Now I need to decide which chair I'm going to keep in the office. Is it this astronaut, which I feel so comfortable in, but you know, it's a vegan leather. So depending on the environment, depending on the temperature of the office, you might feel more comfortable in a mesh setup. So that Martian gear chair behind is from the ergonomic series. It is the Starship in a matte black aluminum finish. Let me show you that chair. Okay, so now I am on the ergonomic series. This is the Starship. It is the flagship model from Martian Gear. It does cost a pretty penny, but are you getting your money's worth? So the gaming chair series from Martian Gear, they are all priced the same. I'm going to be leaving a discount code in the video description below. So if you're interested, you could head over and you will get a pretty discount off any of the chairs, including uh, the ergonomic series, including the gaming chair, which are all priced at the same standard price, regardless of whether you go for the big or the small. So this is something that Martian Gear does, right? Uh, they don't penalize you for size. So if you are of a bigger build, then it doesn't matter. You're not going to have to pay more. So the astronaut, the interstellar, the supernova, they all cost the same price. When you step up to the ergonomic series, they have this Starship model. They have a slightly lower model, which is the Starfighter. They are less adjustability, but this is the top end, the pinnacle of Martian gear technology. So we have two chairs here, right? One is from the standard range and this is at the top range. Now, do I want to keep this chair in the office? I obviously only have one butt and I can only sit in one chair at one time. So which chair am I going to keep? I'm going to run a review, right? A few weeks or maybe a few months later to tell you and share with you which chair I'm keeping and why. So if you're interested in that, do stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and let's help Martian Gear, a newish Singapore company, get off its feet to conquer the gaming chair industry. Oh, by the way, they do also have tables. They have height adjustable tables, electronically adjustable, and they go for a very decent price. So as I'm going to be talking about this Starship, you will not be able to take your eyes off that green, uh, sea green, blue. I, I can't quite pin down the color of that chair. It is that striking. It is that pretty. So the moment when you shift over from the gaming chair to this mesh chair, you will realize that actually um, it, you do feel it. It is a lot more airy, but as compared to the cushy, the foamy, the very well, um, what do you call that, well-supported chair, this offers slightly less contour hugging, right? Because it is a flat seat pen. But there are some features on this chair that I have to highlight to you about. The adjustability of this ergonomic chair is just mind-blowing. Um, I'll go from the top to the bottom. So this is the headrest. The headrest, you can push it up, you can push it down. It is um, by friction. I am not doing it properly because I should be standing up going behind. But just to show you what it means, it goes forward, it goes backwards. You can push it forward, you can push it backward. Now, you can lock it into place after you tighten this nut at the back. This is infinitely adjustable. I have come up with a um, position which I really like because I'm slightly leaning back a little bit, which the backrest can be leaned back. Um, and I am, you know, able to look down at my monitor and I'll be able to do my work with the neck being supported, with my whole head, wing head supported. So, but if you look at it, the angle is actually pretty weird. 
but this is the adjustability of it, beautifully adjusted. And because it is also mesh fabric here, if you could see through the material, when you hit on it, when you lie down on it, it is airy, it, you don't get any heat build up at all. And that's the beauty of a mesh fabric. So moving down a little bit, so this is the backrest that you have. The backrest, very interesting. So to adjust the backrest, normally you will reach down, you will have to pull down the lever, but this is right at your fingertips, literally right at your fingertips. There's this lever here, if you can see. Now, when I click on it, it loosens, and I will be able to rock it, right? So once you find the position that you want, want to find the angle you want, you press it again, and it's locked, right? So one more demonstration. Here you go, see, it's locked down, and you can release and it comes back to the angle that you want. Now, the other fingertip control that you have is the height adjustment of the chair. So the whole chair can be moved up or down like with any other office chairs at the moment. And it controls the hydraulic, right? So you can move it up or down. This one, you don't have to reach under the seat to reach it and pull the lever and, you know, sit on it. It's again at the fingertip. On your right hand, hold it and it comes up. So you can actually look at this. I'm not reaching below, just going down. As I'm resting on the armrest, I pull it and it goes down. So this functionality allows me to very quickly vary the height in small micro adjustments. And I find that I end up doing it a lot more than on any other chair because other chairs, you've got to reach down, you've got to pull the lever. And before, it, this is literally at your fingertip. Now, moving down a little bit, okay? If you look at this particular area here, there is a lumbar support, right? So you can pull it up or down. You can also reach from a sitting position where you can lean back and you can push it up or down. So that adjusts the lumbar support height where you push back against your lower back to support it. So it's kind of built in. All right, now the armrest. This particular armrest, it doesn't have quite the same amount of adjustability as other gaming chairs or other ergonomic chairs because of the built-in cable system which is required to operate these particular levers. So for this one, you do have high adjustment, so you can push it up or down. You can angle it in, outwards. So that's about it. You can't push it, uh, you can't push it forward or backwards, but overall, this is actually a very wide chair already. Now there are two more functionalities that I need to talk about on this chair. The seat pan is actually adjustable. So what do I mean by adjustable seat pan? Now on the side of the chair, on the right hand side, there is this actual button here that you can press in and depress it. And the moment you depress it, you can actually slide the seat forward or backwards. You know, so the whole um, lever actually allows you to have a longer chair, bigger chair. If you have long legs, it will support you better. Or if you like to sit straight up, then you can actually lock it into place so that it works. You can adjust that first before you adjust the tilt of the whole backrest. So they can be adjusted independently. Now, the other functionality that you have to look at is, remember on this Martian gear chair, this astronaut that we were talking about earlier, and a whole plethora of any other gaming chair, there is this rocking tension, right? Um, whether it is harder to rock, so you've got to press down a little bit more. It also depends on your weight and your body size, right? So you there's a knob at the bottom where you twist and turn either clockwise or anti-clockwise to increase or reduce the tension. Now, this particular chair, you don't have to actually get off your seat. There is this particular uh, knob here. I don't know whether it's a knob or what. It's basically like a, you know, a lever where you twist and you turn to increase or reduce the tension. It actually makes it so much easier to change uh, any settings on this chair. Now it's a lot lighter. I want it heavier. I will increase it. And now the tension is a lot heavier. So the functionality on this chair, very, very adjustable, very, very easy to uh, make any changes when you remain, while you remain seated. So in terms of comfort, um, I am quite undecided at this point. This feels very light and airy. The astronaut feels very, very supportive. And I kind of like can sink into that a little bit better. Now, if I were maybe gaming or relaxing or watching something, I'd probably go for that if I wanted to concentrate on my work, like I am at my desk right now and I'm going away at it. This chair, the 
Starship might actually be more suitable for that. So I think it really depends on what you want to use the chair for. Um, I will be following up on this video. I want to keep one chair here and bring the other chair back home to my home office. And right now I'm spending a lot more time in the office. So I think I'm just probably going to prioritize my actual office chair and choose the one that is comfortable because I'm going to be likely here between 8 and 10 hours a day. So again, I have secured a discount code for you guys. Go down to the video description down below. You will be able to see the coupon code there and it's Peter P60. And you can secure yourself a $60 discount of any of the chairs or the tables or even the Martian Gear cockpit from their website. If you are watching this on the TV and you have a camera ready, this is the QR code. You scan the QR code and you'll be directed to the martiangear.sg website where you can browse their catalog of chairs, ergonomic chairs, gaming chairs, electric height adjustable tables, as well as the Martian Gear cockpit. And the cockpit is one insane machine. I'm gonna leave a video clip just right here. You can take a look at how the cockpit works because my daughter, we visited the Martian Gear new showroom at Suntech and she tried it out and it was just mind blowing to her. Check out the video and meanwhile, stay safe. I'll see you in my next video. Suntech and this is the new store opening like for Martian Gear and same from myself Okay.